So, I got back. We held an ESCO's meeting. He was not around, even though it was announced. All right? So, we wanted to give him an opportunity to be able to do what he was probably nurturing to do. But even though that was the objective, we still had to operate according to the principles of scripture. First of all, we had to send one person to him. He didn't work. We now sent two people to him. He didn't work. We now sent, that, that's the order in scripture. We now sent the ESCO to him, minus myself. And then it was there he confirmed that, you see, the work of God is beyond what we are doing. You know, what your Christ is large. Um, so many things. God is doing many things, not just. <laughs> so in view of the above, we now release him to engage in those things that God is doing. You see, he had to pass through that process because that is the prescription. Few years later, we had a breakthrough in ministry. Such a massive breakthrough that came almost all of a sudden. And then the guy now reached out and said, the days, the days in which he left, he didn't have grace to stay. But he's noticing that grace is coming now for him to May, may the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Believers must be exposed. There is a way we conduct ourselves in the house of God. There is a way. So in order for us to, not just to be professing Christians, there are systems, there are rules by which the house of God is to be ordered. That is part of what is no longer available. And we need to restore practice and procedure of church life. To this end, we are advocating, we are going to be laboring in the institute in order to produce people that are enlightened enough uh, such that in their own sphere of influence in the body of Christ, uh, those, those items of the divine order can be established. When we establish the items, the teaching is becoming sweet. And, uh, <laughs> when we establish the items of this divine order that I'm talking about, it will be easy for anybody that is a participant within that sphere to find his destiny and to pursue it. There are systems that you can be in that doesn't pay any attention to this divine order we're talking about. You can be there for 14 years and not know your purpose. Let me, let me leave you there. That's the second reason why we need to deploy people that have capacity in the grace of God to, to teach. Because there are many things that pertain to our culture as a people under God that are no longer considered relevant. In fact, some guys came up the other day and said, water baptism is not necessary, no Um, how many of you had matriculation? Okay. So you were given admission, and then somewhere along the line, you already started lectures, and then somewhere along the line, you had to wear a gown. There was a ceremony to formally acknowledge that you have been accepted into this learning environment. That's how water baptism is. It's, it's like swearing. You know, there, how many weeks um, Soludo was governor elect for how many weeks? Before months, before he was eventually sworn in as governor. Months? It's not just a ritual, it's an induction. All right, so some guys have come up and said, you know, there's no need for water baptism um, and all of that. So crazy things going on. It is, the reason why those kind of people can still have a microphone to talk to human beings is because there are no teachers. We don't have sufficient 
functionaries that are equipped with what it takes to bring perspective. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Part of the function of the teacher is to bring clarity to areas of controversy in the body of Christ. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 23 and 24. Ezekiel 44, 23 and 24. Please give me that scripture on the screen so that we don't waste time. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and the profane. Is that, is that different? Is it? Is that divide really wide right now? The, the difference between the holy and the profane. Is it really wide? When you begin to see that um, um, holy living, we don't even know the meaning of holy living again. It means we are in the days of mixtures. And the days of mixtures are like the days of Jezebel. When Jezebel had influence over the religious landscape. In the days where there are mixtures, Satan is a god that rules. And part of what uh, Satan wants to do is to bring us to that point where we can no longer differentiate, we can no longer de decipher. And then we will bow down to a God that Apostle Paul does not know. They shall teach my people the difference between the holy and the profane and cause them to discern between the clean and what? The unclean. That beauty, the beauty of this divide is brought by teaching. Next verse. In controversy, that's where I'm going. They shall stand in judgment and they shall judge according to my judgments. A true teacher takes sides with the word of God. A true teacher takes sides with God. You must, I must warn you, I must warn you. If you are going to be a teacher of truth, you must, be, you must develop top skin for insults, top skin for criticisms, because your voice will begin to judge the lives of men. I know that place. Yeah, vice versa, I know. In controversy, you might think that the counsel of God is easy until you begin to see the meanings people are making out of scripture that wonders out. The grace of God can't support that opinion. It has gone out of the regions of grace. So we need a teacher to stand in the midst of controversy to judge according to the judgments of the law. And they shall keep my laws and my statutes in all my assemblies and they shall hallow my servants. Number what? Part of our responsibility as teaching people is to establish doctrine. Luke chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. Establish doctrine. Are you there, Luke? For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which had most surely believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the world. It seemed good to me also. Can you see? Can you see what qualified him to be able to be such an apostolic teacher to bring perspective on issues? It seemed good to me also, having perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order. Most excellent Theophilus. Theophilus was like um, a mayor, someone of uh, regard in society, an intellectual, highly exposed. And he began to contemplate the ways of the Lord and needed to be instructed in the things of God. So a chartered disciple, namely Dr. Luke, was the one that was chosen for the task. And Dr. Luke was giving him insight into the fact that he was, why he was talking about Jesus. Because as at the time Luke was giving this assignment, many people, it was popular to talk about Jesus. Sunday's son was talking about Jesus this day. And they were talking about him from 